Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are on this wonderful planet. And I'm with the wonderful Sally Estlin once again. Hey, Harry, how's it going? How's your good? Good, good. <laughs> Sun shining. Yeah, it's good. Yes. Yeah, had some cold days. Yeah. Melbourne's definitely turning the corner and getting chilly. Chilly. Yeah. But it still doesn't stop me wearing my shorts. <laughs> well, it does stop me wearing my shorts. <laughs> They put away for six months, I can tell you. <laughs> Did you do you put mothballs in with your clothes, Harry? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, mothballs are quite toxic, actually. <laughs> actually, actually well, I was just thinking they probably would be. What's the? Yeah. There's a you know yeah. an thing that you can put in. I can't remember what it's called now. Napsaline, I think. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. Right. So, what are we talking about today? Creativity. Ooh. Creativity. Yeah. Would you call yourself a creative person? Sometimes, not always. I think you have to make a space for it. Mm -hmm. And if you don't make a space for it, it gets crowded out by everyday life. Absolutely. You just get caught up with being, going through the motions and, and you know, this walking dead motion of and not unleashing the inner you. Um, yeah. yeah, I've entitled mine, create the life you want. Very good. Yes. So um, I, I did struggle a little bit with um, looking into being dis this discussion, and then I, <laughs> once I opened the floodgates, it was and started to be creative and look outside the box. It all started to flow. But um, here's some little bit of information I found that uh, creative people tend to be more open to new experiences, are more self confident, are more ambitious, self accepting impulsive, driven, dominant, and hostile compared to people with less creativity. What do you think of that? I think it's very interesting. I'm not sure. <laughs> I know. Well, it's true. Creative people, are the, particularly I used to work in marketing, and the creative people I've worked with are really, they're, they're different. They're different to the rest. And, they, yes, they're self-confident in some ways, but yet very self-critical at the same time, um, you know, very impulsive, um, very ambitious and driven. And, um, yeah, and an interesting link that I found, what else did I find here? That, um, oh, creative people, there's, uh, <gasps> uh, correlate with high intelligence and also psychoticism. And um, there's a few conditions. There's strong links with creative people with mood disorders manic depressive disorders or bipolar and depression and i and that was leading into the creative people i used to work with they um do suffer from depression and um not so much bipolar the ones that i've come across but there's that either high or low have you come across that at all i, I, I think i classify them as sensitive emotional right okay. bring, a, lot, a lot of my target market are like that they're also prima donnas <laughs> and it, I think it depends whether you're talking about ad agencies, that sort of creative, or whether you're talking about fine arts, yep. or whether you're talking about somebody like Steve Jobs, who's clearly creative. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He had a great, great quote about creativity, and he said creativity is just about create, is just about connecting things. Correct. You know, and um, you know, of course, the word create comes from the Latin. Creo or whatever, which is to make or grow as well. So, yeah. oh, I found a really interesting stat. 72% of people have cre creative insights in the shower. Did you see that? Yes. <laughs> it's true. And I think it's true. And I think it's because you empty your mind, yeah. you're quiet, you're just experiencing the rain of the shower on your body, which, quite, which relaxes you as well. Yeah. Um, it's like a massage. So, therapy, great therapeutic benefit. Yeah, and it also make the space, and the ideas pop in through your intuition. Yeah, well, you're also clearing your crown, aren't you? And um, yeah. you know, yeah. energy is very clearing, energetically clearing. So yeah, yes. and today, um, it's when I'm fresh in the morning is when I first shower. Obviously, when I get up, um, that's when a lot of ideas flow, and I'm, I'm you know, uh, reinvigorated, refreshed from a night's sleep, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, mm -hmm. interesting. Um, yeah. Yeah, what else? Uh, daydreaming is also when when um, a lot of creativity, when you're just walking along and just sort of daydreaming along, it allows you to tap into that um, creative side. What else did you find? 
Well, interestingly, Adobe, you know, the software manufacturer in 2012 did a study and they found 80% of the people they surveyed thought creativity was important for economic growth. Mm. But only 25% felt they reached their creative potential. Is that so there's right? this, massive, this massive gap between what people acknowledge yep. is important yep. and where people are. And I think the, the dip. The reason why there is such a big gap is because so many people get creative blocks. Mm. So in the work that I do, when I put a piece of blank paper in front of clients, which I do always, yep. very common to get them freeze up, lock up. I can't draw. I can't do this. I don't know what to do. Mm. Give me some ideas. I can't do this. I'm not going to do this. And so on. <laughs> yep. Mm. So, for instance, I had um, what I say to people, and this is stuff that I learned from my father. I say, just pick up the pen. I'll show them how to hold it if they're a kid and they're holding it wrong. Yep. And I'll say, I want you to follow the pen. Follow your hand. Ooh. And I remember I had a, an interior decorator, and she just could not do that. She just kept on drawing straight lines and squares. And I said, come on, break out of it. Yeah. Just... Mm, interesting. Yeah, I think um, you know, of course, kids are so creative, and they don't they they their imagination runs wild. And then as we get older, we just get I don't know what the mind takes over, or you know. No, you get shut down. I think by school. Right. Right. You get little bits chopped off you. No, that's not right. You do yeah. it this way. Yeah. That's wrong. All of that, and you learn. That art is right and wrong, which of course it isn't. Mm. Mm. One of the things my dad did was he refused to hand out robbers. He said, if you've made a mark on the paper, it's there. Oh, that's awesome. That is, that's awesome. Um, you know, one of the, I can't remember the lady's name who was living in Singapore that we interviewed one time. And, and oh, yeah. she did all that, she did a PhD, I think, into childhood stuff. But it was where the kids just, went to kindy in a forest you know yes. no structure no no rooms whatever it's just go out and be creative and just climb trees and just be out in nature like how awesome is that three-year-olds out in nature that's wow incredible it is it is yeah i forget her name too so one of the things my dad used to do, he used to be given all the troubled kids the kids that no one else wanted in the school it's a private school in england and he had his art room full of easels big easels and he put big bits of cartridge paper on, you know, like AO, big yep. bits. Yeah. Yeah. So every, every kid had an easel, every kid had a blank sheet of paper at the beginning of the term. Yeah. And some of them just sat and looked at that blank bit of paper for a whole term. Yeah. That block you're talking about. Yeah. They right. did nothing. But when they picked up the brush or the pen and started making marks on the paper, their life changed. Wow. Their out of life changes. So once they'd made the decision internally, they were going to do it. Wow. And it happened. Yeah, cool. Your dad sounded awesome. Absolutely awesome. Very interesting, yeah. Mm. Um, what did I have down here? The most creative people find ways around obstacles or challenges because they see them not just as roadblocks, but as also as opportunities. And mm. yeah. It's rather than getting shut down, as you say, it's like, oh, I can't do this because of that. It's thinking creatively of other ways. Okay, so if this is in my way, how can I get around it? What else can I do to keep moving yeah. forward? Mm. Mm. And the interesting thing is, like, the, you know, if we think about the creative process, fine art and craft, yep. you know, the definition that comes to me is that fine art is useless by its nature. Say that again. Fine art is useless. useless. It's useless. Why? It has no purpose. It has no function. Hmm. Whereas something made by a craftsman, you know, a pen. Oh, has I a think, use. yes, yes, I get, yes, I get what has you use. So although art is useless, um, the creative process is inspiring. Yeah, and the absolutely. Is, is very powerful on the, on the viewer. So even though it has no purpose. <laughs> mm. Well, creativity is about doing things differently for, and finding a new way of doing stuff, and it's usually valuable stuff. So, um, 
you know, whatever they've invented or come up with or whatever, you know, it, it becomes valuable because it's something that's done differently to existing ways, I suppose. Yeah, so have you got a model today? I did a model. I had to think about the model. I do. I do have a model. So my first, um, my first purple was to actually make a space so that you can educate yourself and immerse yourself in experiences. Mm, good one. Second pedal is then experiment and explore. <laughs> Unlock your your childish curiosity and and trust your intuition. Oh, I love that. And then the third pedal was evaluate what comes up and and from all of that you get solutions and ideas and you get growth. Oh, I love that. I love that. Mine was slightly different. I love that. Um I so I've done the, the three circle one, which we must get on to hooking up. Open, open your, your mind, be open-minded of the way that you do things and find new ways of doing things and then be, become more original, try out different things um, and then also have uh, find new opportunities to try out as well. So opportunities that come along or you, that you can try out. And so if you... Um, open your mind more and be more original with the way you do things or try things out. You become more self-confident. And then when you are more original with the way that you approach things and um, find new opportunities, uh, you've, you get much more enjoyment out of what you're doing. And then finally, when you're more open-minded and uh, uh, following new opportunities, you become more motivated. You want to keep going. And overall, you become more unique. <laughs> that was my centre word today. Ah, more unique is something that offends my sense of the English. Oh, yeah, sorry, you've become... Oh. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't do that. Qualifying unique. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's unique. So um, I, I entitled this topic Cur Curious Creativity. Oh, I like that one. Um, and... I think that the, the three steps for me were firstly to make a space, then to experiment and then evaluate what you've done. Yeah, yeah. cool. What were your three steps? So? Mine, uh, one, allow, allow yourself to think openly. Just yeah. allow you, give yourself permission to, to think in different ways. Act and try out different ways of doing things. Be original with your actions and then have that awareness of how it makes you feel and do more of the stuff that satisfies your soul the things that give you more enjoyment just keep doing that go oh yeah I really enjoyed that so let's try that doing something new so mm. and become more and more creative because it fuels you you know it fuels your energy fuels your soul it's just like yeah. oh you start off and you're just like yeah this is ace <laughs> and then I've tried this it's just yeah. getting out of that fear of doing things differently. Yeah. yeah. A little bit more creative. And what I found is that you doesn't really matter what what material you're using to be creative in, whether it's sculpting something in wood or writing a book or whatever. So as you know, I've worked as a sculptor um, and I've written a book, but it's the same process. So it, you're just using a different material. That was That was a great surprise to me. So I can sit down and be creative on a computer. Yeah. Write something and it's the same essential process as getting a chisel and carving a bit of wood. Is that one of your, just behind you on the top of the bookcase, is that one of your it is. pieces? Yeah. Right up there. Yes. yes. So until there, you've got some, some amazing creative pieces in your home and then what you have done with the, the, the wood. Yes. Oh, that picture there? No, you probably haven't got that picture of out in the forest. Uh, which one out in the forest? Oh, with the big thingy, you know. Was that in Victoria in the in the bushwalking area? And it's got like the statue, the wooden carved out thing. Mm. <laughs> Please explain, Sal. I'd look at. It'll be an old photo on the phone somewhere. No idea. It'll, it'll, <laughs> yes, but you're very creative over the years, and um, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, it's important to me. I think it's really important as part of the human condition yeah. to be creative. And it doesn't have to be big stuff. You can be creative in the garden, you know, getting out in the garden or, you know, just writing in a journal or a diary as well. Um, yeah. yeah. Doodling. Yeah. Playing around on the piano or whatever. Yeah, doodling. 
in a boring meeting, you know. And there are some, there's a psychology practice that analyzes the doodles people do. Yeah, that's right. Because when I worked in banking, all I did was doodle because there were so many damn meetings. And it's just like doodle, doodle, doodle. <laughs> I can't imagine you in banking. I just cannot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's suit and all, baby. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bit of a transformation. That was a long time ago. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but same with you. Look at your turnarounds. And that we've yeah. followed our creative passion inside, haven't we? I mean, look, this is how we've ended up where we're at because we've we've got to, to be more creative with, with our yeah. Um, careers. Yeah. Sure. And look at you with the so my intention <laughs> my intention this time is to do a mobile um, a mobile session with you. So with my new I know. Uh, yeah. Now, that. what's it called? Kickstarter. Can't wait. Is that where you found that? Yeah. No, that's not where I found that. It's, but it's where I found many of the things that I've got. Oh, well, that's a creative app that's free to download called Kickstarter. I've just downloaded yes. it. Looks good. Mm. It, supports, it supports people in their creative endeavours. That's why I like it. Yeah. yeah, I think that's awesome. I'll look into it after this. Well, Harry, must away. I've got to go and pick up the kids. So, yes. um, yeah, creativity. It's really important to be creative. And you, it's, yeah, on all levels. And now, Sally, you have been creative this month and your, your book's been published. Can, can uh, we have a look at that? There we go. Yeah. The Personal Wellness Journal. The, uh, this one's got a spine, but the ones that we've published uh, are all bound. Um, fantastic. Day by day. Thank you. Uh, it's all about well-being on all levels from what you're feeling grateful for every day, how you've been moving, how much you've been drinking, how you're feeling, what you're eating, what you need to get done for the day. Just, just a check-in and it's just a really handy little um, journal to get you back on track for 30 days, reset your hormones, get your digestion balanced and um, it, it makes you accountable, something that you can stick to for 30 days. It was, uh, we put it together based on demand from clients because they wanted to be accountable. So oh, if you send me a link to that, we'll pop that in the blog. Oh, fantastic. Okay, I will do that. All right. And maybe I should reset my hormones, you know, if they're like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's them. right. Oh, yeah, reduce the balance. Reduce the balance. You don't want to Oh, Harry, you make me laugh. All right, darling, I will send you that link. That'd be awesome. Okay. And um, I look forward to chatting to you next week. Yes. Okay. Bye then. See you later. Bye.